started from the bottom. No. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am finally going to be filming my Get Ready With Me using the Pricked Eyeshadow Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I say finally because I feel like it's already been out for like a month, two months. You guys know me. I only film videos and finally get videos up for you guys on the hottest trends and hottest makeup items that happened like a year ago. I just don't understand how like other YouTubers like they can, you know, get their products, film, edit it, upload it, like, the same day as it launches. I don't know, maybe when you're on someone's, like, PR list and this is, like, your full-time thing, maybe that's easy for you to do, but that's not me, so I apologize. Like the saying goes, better late than never. So here is the palette itself right here with the most iconic packaging, if you ask me. I was so excited for this collection just by the overall look of it. I just fell in love with it. So you know I had to pick up the palette as well as some other products from the same collection. One of the products I'm already wearing, which is one of the Supreme Frost that Jeffree launched with the same collection. If you can kind of see it a little bit right there. And it is this Supreme Frost right here. And this is in the shade Citrus Bling. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like right there. But if you've already saw my other um, swatches and first impressions video already up on my channel, I believe, then you would have already saw swatches of the Supreme Frost as well as the lip colors I got. And of course, all of the swatches for all of the eyeshadows in the Pricked palette. So yeah, today we're gonna be trying out the eyeshadows on our eyes. I'll definitely be wearing one of the lip colors that I got. I got a liquid lip and then a Supreme Gloss. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet. We'll see how the eyes turn out first. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll get a look of how these eyeshadows perform on the eye compared to the swatches that I already did. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you would like to see the look that I create using the Pricked Eyeshadow Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, then just keep on watching. All right, so along with all of the face makeup that I already have on, I did apply an eye primer, so we're all set to go for the shadows. So we'll go ahead and open up the palette right here. Ta-da! Get rid of this little plastic bit right there. So here is what all of the shadows look like in there. I keep kind of going back and forth with what kind of look I want to create today. Originally, I had in my mind that I wanted to apply um, this like shimmery strawberry pink color like on the center of my lids and then surround it with some of like the darker like reds orange burgundies so that kind of look but i don't know i'm also like really drawn to these two shimmery shades down here and as you guys know as we think about it we're gonna just go ahead and start building up our crease i have my light up mirror over here so if you see me looking over here that's what i'm looking at so I think to start building up the crease, I might try this color kind of like all over, very messy, just to kind of help blend everything together once we start adding some other colors. And this one is Sliver of Sanity. That's what Sliver of Insanity looks like right there. Um, in love with this color, like I feel like I kind of just want to leave it like this and we're good to go. It is such a pretty color and it's like so easy to blend. It's pigmented, you don't lose any of the pigmentation like when you're blending it. Like it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more on this side. All right, the next color I think I'm gonna go into is this like brownish shade down here in the name Thorny, which if you remember from my swatches video, it didn't come out as like brown or tan as I wanted it to. Like I feel like the way it looks in the pan is like that really pretty like 
darker tan color, but it kind of came off more like patchy and orangey. But uh, we're just gonna go in with it anyways, and I'm gonna go in kind of with my like larger tapered brush just to kind of um, start building up that crease a little bit more. sliver of insanity just to kind of help blend it even more is this a joke you guys like i'm not trying to like toot my own horn but like i feel like this is already looking like so cool a little more like sunset-esque than i wanted it to but we're not done yet but like i just feel like these shadows are like coming out so like pigmented they're blending so easily i'm like honestly shocked Okay, so now we're gonna start kind of building out the inner and outer corners, kind of like with a darker color. Which I'm wondering, maybe we could try this Slice Me Open color, which is kind of like a plummy purple color. Which I, I remember correctly from when I swatched it, like it was a really pretty color, but it just wasn't something that I was like, wow, that's gorgeous over. I don't know, we're gonna try it anyways, cause I don't wanna go full on like black. So here's how everything is looking right now. Still very sunset vibes, but I'm not completely hating on it. It's still really pretty. It's definitely something that I've never done before. And now I'm for sure, because I was kind of going back between some of like the shimmer ones, like the gold one, and then this kind of like strawberry pinky one up there. I feel like no matter what, which one we choose, it's still gonna look like a sunset, so. But I think I'm gonna go with this pink shimmering one up here, just because it's something a little bit out of my comfort zone, what I wouldn't usually choose. I feel like I would normally go for the gold one, so we're gonna go with the pink one. And I'm just gonna take a regular, eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to pack that onto the lids.
after one application of that eyeshadow. Definitely gonna do a little bit more just to make the shimmer pop a little bit extra, and then I'll go back in kind of with some of the colors that we already used, make sure everything's blending together. Um, and then I might actually go in maybe with this color right here in the name Twisted Taste, just to kind of blend in the Slice Me Open and the Fashion Horror colors that we put on the middle of our lids and then the outer and inner corners. So here is what our eyes are looking like currently. I'm absolutely loving how it's turning out. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on the lower lash line. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line our lower lash line using this um, <laughs> dark color down here. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and use, I was gonna say I was gonna use Thorny to kind of blend it out, but maybe we should use a different color. I don't know, maybe we can try this one right here. It's in the name Mysterious Circumstances. It's kind of like a pinkish, um, kind of like a muted type color. So let's go ahead and try that and see how it looks. how our lower lash line is looking and I can't help myself. So I really want to go in with this gold shimmery color, um, probably just on the inner corners of our eyes. And that will finish off the majority of the eyeshadows we're going to be using. I almost forgot about our brow bone highlight. And I think the only color that would really work for that is this one up here, which is in the name Pale in Comparison. So now the eyeshadow look is complete. Really the only thing else we need to add to the eyes is some mascara. So originally I was just gonna go in with like one of my other black mascaras that I already have on hand, but I decided since this Get Ready With Me is centered around the Pricked eyeshadow palette and Pricked collection, I decided I wanted to go ahead and use the F Proof <laughs> mascara that Jeffrey launched with this particular collection. Now this mascara he launched a few months ago. I don't exactly remember when it was. I didn't get that mascara when it first launched just because I, I just didn't really want it to be perfectly honest. I just wasn't feeling it. But this particular mascara, I decided to go ahead and get it because I just absolutely loved the packaging. He came out with this limited edition coral colored mascara and I just fell in love with the packaging. So I knew I for sure wanted to get um, the mascara just for the packaging itself. Um, my only complaint with the mascaras that he launched is I was really hoping that he would have launched like a black mascara, which obviously he launched, the mascara he launched a few months ago was a black mascara, but the few options of mascaras that he had was like a coral color. I wanna say he had another color, but I'm like totally drawing a blank or maybe it was just two colors. I don't really remember, but I know he launched a coral colored mascara and then he launched a brown one, which I wasn't a fan of. I prefer black mascara, but I was like, whatever. I really only wanted it for the packaging anyways. So I went ahead and bought one and I went with the brown one because compared to coral, brown was a lot more wearable if I actually wanted to go ahead and use it. So um, yeah, since we're basically going to be 
using products from this launch, I decided we're gonna use this mascara. So I'll go ahead and get it out of the box here. And I haven't even <laughs> cut the tag off of it yet, but here is what the mascara looks like with the little tassels on the end, all of the like faux leathering along the wand. And it has the name of the mascara up here and then it also has the shade name down at the bottom. And so we're gonna go ahead and open it up. There's kind of what like the wand looks like right there. And obviously I have eyelash extensions, so we're just gonna be applying them on the lower lashes. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have one coat of the mascara on right there. You definitely can't really see it, um, which I kind of expected. So I'm gonna kind of just let that settle a little bit and then we'll go ahead and apply more coats. I have a couple thoughts real quick. Um, so first things first, when it comes to the mascara, I feel like usually when I you know, take the wand out of the bottle and I'm applying the mascara, I kind of just set the bottle you know, down. Don't really think anything of it. But with this particular mascara, because it does have the tassel on the bottom, you can't set it down anywhere. Um, you do have the option to be able to take the tassel off, but it still has like a little loop on the bottom. So it's still not a flat bottom. So there's no way to like set it down and have it stand up. Interesting. I don't want to really say that's like a bad thing because it's not like the end of the world. It's not like a huge deal, but that's just something I'd like noticed. I went to like put it down and like you can't, so I had to like hold it while holding the mirror and... So that's just something I noticed about the mascara. Um, also another thing that I have actually been noticing throughout this Get Ready With Me, this entire time I've been thinking like either I'm going blind or this is just a crappy mirror because I literally can't see out of it. Like it's all blurry. Um, totally didn't even realize that there was like a protector film over the mirror. But now I can see in the mirror a lot better, so that's great. Okay, so I applied a second coat of the mascara and I'm probably just gonna leave it as that. It's definitely buildable, which is nice, but I think it's just the color, I'm just... Not a fan, I prefer a black mascara. Alrighty, and last but not least, we just need to do our lips. So I got two different lips um, from the Pricked Collection. First things first, I got one of the Supreme Glosses and the one I got is in the shade Never Content. And it kind of looks like this color right here, which is kind of like a nudish muted pink color and then i also got a liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade play your luck which this is one that's kind of like a darker burnt tan color and i think i'm gonna go for the gloss because i feel like i usually always go for the liquid lip so we're gonna switch it up a little bit more for this get ready with me and go with the gloss um, but first i'm just gonna line my lips with my go-to lip liner this is from bh cosmetics this is one of their waterproof lip liners and this is in the shade earth so I'm gonna line my lips, fill them in, and then I'll go in with that gloss. finished look all inspired by Jeffree Star Cosmetics Perrect Collection. Honestly, I think the entire look looks amazing. Like, wow, like what a look to bring back some of like my makeup videos. I feel like I was a little rusty in this video because I have not like sat down and did like a makeup video in what feels like forever. I know recently, a few months back, I did like a life update, get ready with me type thing, but like an actual like dedicated 
make a video on something. I feel like it's been a minute. I honestly don't remember the last one I did before this one. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you also haven't seen my swatches and first impressions video that I uploaded, Earlier this week, I will link it down in the description box for you guys as well as put it somewhere on the screen. But yeah, overall, like I'm I'm obsessed. Like honestly, it's Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Like I feel like I say this in every single video that I do reviewing any of his products. Like they're just amazing. This one I feel like has truly blown me out of the water. And like, yeah, I'm sure there's been other palettes that he's done that I've felt the same way about, but like, I feel like there hasn't been a collection in a while that I was like really blown away by. I feel like the last one where I was like, holy crap, was the Bloodlust palette. Anyways, but yeah, this one is just gorgeous. Like, I love warm toned shadows. I was a little worried about this palette just because I feel like there isn't a lot of like, more like wearable shades. I feel like they're more, not only the warm side, but they're like darker, like orange, red, things like that. But like, it's it's beautiful. Like I'm just obsessed with the look that I created today. This palette is just awesome and I definitely recommend it. Um, if you love Jeffree's makeup, if you're an avid collector, even if you're not and you don't buy all of his palettes, this would definitely be one to pick up. Quick side note and some of the other products from this collection, um, again, with the highlighter, it's pretty, but I'm just not like blown away by it. Do I think you absolutely like need to go pick it up right now? No, it's a pretty highlighter, but I feel like you would definitely have to like really pack it on to get the look that you're going for. If you're someone like me that like loves those like blinding highlights, this one doesn't really do it, but it's still a pretty color. Mascara, I feel like I kind of already touched on. Like I feel like the formula is pretty good. It's buildable. I'm someone again that kind of likes those like spidery leg lashes, which I feel like you kind of get this effect with and it doesn't make them like clump in like a bad way. So I feel like the formula is good, but I just kind of wish it was a black mascara instead of a brown one. And lastly for the lip color, um, I have not applied the liquid lipstick to my lips. I've only applied it like as a swatch in my swatches video, but the Supreme gloss that we used in today's video is absolutely gorgeous. That's something I do like about his glosses. I don't have very many of them. I think this would make number two. I only have one other one, but I like them because like they're pigmented. So it's like you're wearing a lipstick, but because of that gloss behind it, it's just a little bit more moisturizing and comfortable to wear compared to like a liquid lipstick. Especially when you're someone like me that already naturally just has really dry lips. Like this is just kind of like a nice, comfortable lip to wear. And it's not sticky. Like it's just overall comfortable. So like if you're not really a lip gloss wearer, kind of are someone like me that's kind of in the middle, I would go with Jeffree Star Supreme Glosses because I feel like you get everything that you want in a lip gloss. And yeah, so that is it for this Get Ready With Me, my final review on the Pricked Eyeshadow Palette and the Pricked Collection. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna get going for now, but I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.